Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. Voters in 19 elections were not allowed to vote for the candidate that will likely take office. Republicans are allowed to vote in Democratic primaries and vice versa if no one from the other party is on the November ballot. But if there's a write-in candidate, someone who says they only want to run, then the primary is closed to only that party's voters. Ask yourself, have you ever voted for a write-in? No. Political scientist Carol Weissert says Florida law is outside the norm. Very strange. It's a very strange law in Florida. I'm not sure of another state that has that kind of law, but basically it disenfranchises a lot of people. If all the races that were closed by a write-in candidate were open, a million more people would have had a chance to cast a ballot this primary. Writing candidates pay no fee, seldom campaign, and are often stand-ins to keep the other party from having a say. Government watchdogs say the practice leads to gridlock. It keeps, you know, moderates from being able to, to vote in, in uh, either Republican primaries or Democratic primaries. So it makes those, those primaries more to either the right or to the left. The state says its hands are tied. But not so fast. It took an advisory opinion from a previous Secretary of State to put the rule in place to keep the other party silent. Both Republicans and Democrats are equal offenders, blocking voters from casting a meaningful vote. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vassalinda reporting.